Now that we have a working camera, I want to examine this up vector in a little bit more detail. Remember that our up vector is pointing up. Okay, up is positive y. Though we could turn this up vector, we could point it any direction. Generally, we want to point it up because that's what we're used to in our everyday life. Now I want to examine how this affects what goes on in our actual world. Let me bring our world up here. You can see the camera. There's the camera. Let me fly down and try to align our viewpoint as best as I can with the XZ plane. You can see the XZ plane in red there. The camera right now is looking down the negative Z axis as we're used to and the up vector is pointing up. Okay, so we have this nice 90 degree angle which makes sense. Look that way and the top of the camera point the top of the camera in the Y direction. But in the last videos, we set it up so the camera can look around the world. Okay, the camera can look up and down. It can look side to side. Side to side is not really a problem, but up and down is. Watch what happens. Say we say look down. So the camera's got to look down. Our look at point will end up right here. And then we no longer have a 90 degree angle. We have a greater than 90 degree angle, or we could say camera point up and we'd have less than 90 degrees. It doesn't matter. We no longer have a perpendicular between the up vector and the view vector. In fact, I just realized my view vector is off the screen for you. I'll bring the view vector back in. Here's the view vector as looking right there. Well, what should the camera do in this case? If I turn off our camera, what I think our camera should do or what I feel like our camera should do is look at what I told it to look at. Okay, I'm going to draw a really crude camera here. But I want our camera to point down at the lookout point that I told the camera to point down to. But that would mean that the camera's up vector is no longer aligned with the up vector I told it to be aligned to. And, and that, that could cause problems, but what actually happens is the up vector is not as well respected as the camera position. The camera position's here. We say, put the camera here, put the look at point right here, and look at it. All right, the up vector is a strong suggestion, and mathematically, if you go look at the game engine programming playlist, go look at videos with the title of projecting one vector onto another, project onto, that sort of thing. What happens is this up vector, we take the best we can with the up vector, and we project it onto the camera's up. All right, so if you, if you can imagine this up vector being shadowed onto the camera's up vector, then our true up vector is that. Okay, we, we, we still use the original up vector, but we project it onto the camera's up vector. And that makes sense. If I have my camera, if I'm holding my camera and I want to film my kids and I point my camera down, I still want the top of the camera to point up-ish towards the sky, but I want to view my kids. It, it wouldn't make sense if I was forced to always film on a perfect horizontal. Then I'd have to sit down. I'd have to put the camera on the floor probably to film my kids so that, that my camera could see them. But anyway, that's that's the idea. Is the up vector? You know, if it can be perpendicular, it will. But a lot of the time, the up vector is being projected onto the camera's vertical up, and that puts our camera how we want it. Now, say I want to turn the camera like a, a plane or something, then I could change my up vector. This is kind of, going to be kind of hard, but if you can imagine this up vector pointing into the scene a little bit. Okay, say I turned my up vector. I know it still looks 2D, but well, here, we can fly around. Why not? We can fly around. I built this tool so we can fly around. Say we're right here. Okay, and I want my camera to look down like our actual camera, this camera I'm flying around with. I want it to look down. But say for some reason I wanted the up vector to be like this, then my look at point would still be down here. My camera position would be right here. So our view vector would be like that. But then the camera would turn. So it was, let me, let me turn off the camera that's in the scene. Instead what we get is our camera would turn so it'd be like that. That is really hard to draw for a programmer that doesn't program, but pretend that's the front of the camera looking down into the scene and the back of the camera is coming at us. Here, I'll use a thin, thin black here, but the back of the camera is coming straight out at you and me. 
and the camera's looking into the scene. So I've turned the camera. I get this nice kind of sideways airplane looking turn. I'm looking at this. My camera's this. And the, the up vector suggests, hey, turn it. The actual up vector, if my camera's still looking down, the camera's up would be going like this. And so we take the shadow of our where suggested up and project that shadow onto the camera's up, and that will turn the camera. So anyway, it's a lot like... Well, <laughs> I used to do this with my kids, and then I realized it was dumb. If you have a camera, a physical digital camera, and you want to take a picture of your friends, maybe you have two friends, you'll sometimes turn the camera on its side because your friends are taller than they are wide. And if you only have two friends, then you want that nice vertical look, so you'll take a picture. Well, if you try to do that with a video camera, then... To view it correctly, you'd have to pick up your TV and actually rotate your TV. With a picture, you just take the picture and you turn the picture however you want to. But with a video camera, if you, if you, you ever film somebody and you're like, oh, well, I could get a better shot if I turn the camera 90 degrees. Then you turn it 90 degrees and you realize, oh, I'm taking video. There's no way I'm going to pick up my TV at home and rotate it. Anyway, there you go. So that's the up vector and how the up vector really works.